Looks like we're ready to go, guys. Excellent. Now, I was just trying to prep everything and get ready and then realized I don't have any colors on my palette because I've been going back and forth in between uh, the place where I'm doing my mural and, uh, and home and I keep having to change the colors and take them off the palette. I should just probably take a different palette over there. That would probably be more smart, but it's paint with Josh. What are you going to do? So, welcome to the show, guys. Tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwiches? And let's see if we can't do this cool, like, teal blue, purpley kind of scene out here in the night. In the night. So, man, I've been 16 hours into that mural already. 16 hours. That's a lot of hours, you guys. That's no bull pooping yet. That's a lot of time spent on that painting over there. So I just added in the family today, and one of the girls came out and instantly was like, oh, I see your birds. <laughs> so we put the bird family in today. Everything's looking fantastic. And I just got a little bit more to do. Mine might be done tomorrow on it, actually. Could possibly be done tomorrow. So... Beyond that news, you guys want to know something? I haven't even told my Discord people this yet. You guys want to know something? Let's see, white, black, crimson, blue, purple, crimson from the Meaden set, phthalo green. Do we need any other colors? I don't think so. I don't think so. Guys, though. Guys, look what showed up in the mail. Oh, my God. Look at these. You see what they say on them? Joshua Kirkham. That's my full name, actually. And look at the brushes say on them, you guys. Literally, they say paint with Josh, right, on the brush handle. So we're going to be trying out the brand new demo paint with Josh brushes, right? These are not available yet for sale because look at these beauties. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. But they're not available yet for sale because we haven't tested them out yet. So I'll be testing them for a while. I can already see this one's a lot thinner than the Bob Ross brush is. And I was able to put my liquid clear onto the canvas. I did the Bob Ross brush onto the top, and then I used the Paint with Josh brush on the bottom. It took a little bit longer because the bristles are a little thinner, a little less of them. So we covered a little less area, but it did it just the same. So let's get in here and start to come up with what our scene is going to look like. I always love that mead and crimson paint. Look at these gorgeous brushes. Oh, they say Paint with Josh on them. Who's going to be the first person to buy the first Paint with Josh painting ever painted with his own brush line? That's up to you guys, right? Now, let's get up in here and let's start dropping down some of this crimsony paint. We just want to have a little of our bright color out there, and then we're going to do the same exact thing down on the bottom. Now, this mead and crimson is like a very pretty crimsony color. Okay, It's a very pinkish or purplish, depending on which way you go with it. So we don't need a whole lot. You can see how much easier it spreads with the Paint With Josh brushes <laughs> than uh, the Bob Ross paints do. They're a lot thicker, and you're going to notice, especially when we come in here. Look at that. You can't even tell that we put any paint on them yet. That's about as much room as I want you guys to ever pull paint onto your brush. That's why we put this black tip onto the end, right? Okay, let's get out here. We're going to mix this guy up. Remember, you can buy the very first Paint With Josh painting ever painted with Paint With Josh brushes, if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, get over there and let's see what we can do. Maybe we'll come over here with some perps. A little bit of our perp action. Oh, and that thick dioxazine purple, right? All onto our brush. Let's start dragging it in from the side. Over here, over there. Very first time using these brushes. And I can tell you, I like them. <laughs> I already like them. They're not any, I mean, they're a little softer, of course. There's less bristles. So that makes them a little softer, but maybe we might be able to get some more finesse and finagle out of them, right? We'll do purple on this side, then we're going to do teal on this side, but if we're going to use the Paint With Josh brushes only, we're going to have to wash this guy off because I only have one two-inch brush. So let's get it in there, spread it out, get all of our thinner out that we can out of our bristles before we go into the old beater bucket, right? Over here into the old trash can. Flick it and then into the bucket. All right. Now, we 
They come out, they need to be dried, of course, because we're never going to go back and dry them or put them right onto the canvas, but smash them onto the table the exact same way that we always do when we're doing our Bob Ross brushes. I'm going to treat them no differently than I would if I was using my Ross set or if I was using the Paint with Josh set. And that way, we can really say that they're properly, they've been properly tested and beat the crap out of. Look at that. Comes out gorgeously. I've lost one bristle so far, by the way. One bristle has fallen out of this brush. Putting on all of our clear and all of our colors. Only had one bristle come out so far. So, I don't know. That's pretty neat to me. I'm sure we'll get some more to come out. But, <laughs> always, you always get a few to shed that first time you use it, right? Okay, let's go with our phthalo green over on this side. A little greenish, a little bluish. Over back over to here, and then we'll drop it down. There we go, back onto here, over to this side. Just let them crisscross and intermingle with the purple and the teal. We got the crimson in there. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty painting, you guys. Like that. Excellent, excellent. Now, all we're gonna do is come out here and light it up with our white paint. All right, blend these colors across our crimson just a bit. Our water doesn't really matter. It's gonna be mushed across so many times that it's gonna change. Now we gotta wash the brush off one more time. Just one more go round before we start throwing color on it with the Paint with Josh fan brushes. Isn't it just like literal perfection that it showed up on my last night, my Friday, guys. This is my Friday. I get to take a two day break. Well, I get to go finish that mural, but I would get to take a two day break after today if we weren't muraling it up, right? So luckily, the Paint With Josh brushes arrived just in time for you guys. Let's scrub them, really mash them, beat them onto the table, just Look at that flip. Oh, they got some good weight to them too, All right? Dry it off. You can see we've still got some color in there, which is okay. You'll always have a little bit, and you'll always have a little bit of wetness inside the brushes. It's exactly what we need in order to help our paints spread across. Already, anytime we start using green, it's gonna stain the bristles. No matter what happens or who you have bristles with, it's gonna stain them. Now we've got all of our colors all set up. That is not a brush hair. It's like a human hair. <laughs> we've got all of our, our colors already all set. So let's pop on over to We've got two different size fan brushes in the Paint With Josh set. My God, that feels so good coming off my tongue. Two different fan brushes in the Paint With Josh set, guys. Good Lord, that feels good. So I think we're gonna go with the bigger one. And it's not too bad. It's got some good flickability. And then our smaller guy, he's gonna be used for our highlights and different stuff. So let's take our bigger guy, the Paint With Josh fan brush. And they call it a size 14. That sure is right there. Oh, love you before you get onto the, the canvas and get all nasty, right? Come down in here and drag down some of our white. We don't need a lot, so let's drag off the excess so we don't have too much of it onto the bristles. You can still even see some of that dark paint that's in there. And because we've drug off that excess paint, they've started to split a little, which is okay. We're going to come up here and make some crazy clouds, right? So, what if we had a real bright spot right there? Bang, right into that pinkish craziness. Out here, I'm gonna go down to the same sort of weird little shape, top and bottom, right? Boom, boom, boom. Now, let's wipe that brush off. We may need to have them add some more bristles into this guy. But these are just the prototypes, guys. We gotta test them out. And I like to do everything live, you know me. So we'll test it out live and then we'll give our feedback back to the company. Now, these are a little bit thinner, right? It's a little bit thinner, same length as the Bob Ross brush, but a little thinner, about half as thin actually. So we should be able to grip on and make wicked cool little uh, variations with our clouds, kind of pulling it here, mixing it there, pushing it over here. How far do we want it to go, right? We get to choose what we want it to look like. It's whipping out into the sky. This guy down around the bottom, same little counterclockwise circles. And the only thing we're really gonna do is pull him down and pull him over to the side by the time that we get done with our water. So it doesn't have to look exactly the same, 
But that is a pretty soft little cloud, my friends. Now, what if we took a little bit more of our paint this time? Just a little touch, and man, that's almost like the center of a galaxy almost. But let's do, all we need is a whole lot of color out here. So let's add some over to this guy. Maybe bring it down underneath. You pop a little bit of craziness. The more it goes into that bluey green over here. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Now, let's start in the bluey green side. All right, we'll grab this guy up and start to very lightly mix it. Sometimes we got to push a little harder to get it to go where we want it to go. And sometimes we push a little less, right? We get to choose what it looks like. This one inch brush, I kind of like the, like the flexibility of it. You see what I mean? How it moves with us. So you can almost not eat, you can do a circle and not even move, right? And that'll help you from dragging it too far, I think, anyway. I think, you never know, but, until you give it a try. But, we gotta test them out, of course. Make sure they're all Paint With Josh worthy. Woo! Look at that! That is some phantasmicism, if I've ever done did seen it in my life. Look at that, you guys. Can you do that with Bob Ross brushes? No, you got, no, you probably could, but you gotta have paint with Josh brushes. So, I'm excited about these, you guys. I'm excited about them. Remember, this guy's gonna come around, he's gonna go down, we gotta leave a little space, have some area, right? mush him. Don't wanna have it too much paint, that's why I'm not pushing on it too hard down here and it'll grow downwards, right? Again, this is all just some water. So we're gonna eventually blend it all down. We just need some color out here, but we'll come out with our brush, grab it up, mix it out towards the side, just like we were doing with our guy above. Right? Pulling him down towards the back, just like we did over there. Little things, leaving our little areas, being very soft, very soft. Right? The harder that we push on it, the more the color will kind of streak that cool little thing up into our sky, guys. Our sky, guys. <laughs> Come over here, blend it down, push all this color till we get that little matching thing. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's in the water. Ooh, we forgot to wipe the canvas off. We forgot to wipe the canvas of clear. Hmm, no wonder it's acting very wet, because it is. There we go. Now remember, we're gonna take our whole bit at the bottom, and we're gonna eventually swipe down, swipe around it, and do all sorts of stuff. And it looks like we need a bit of bright right up in there. Get all that brightness off of the brush, and then come back. There we go. That's better. That's better. Dang! Except we got that one thing of darkness down here, but it's all right, I told you, the water, we're not gonna make a, a whole big deal about our watery reflection. Remember, if you want to get this painting, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. We're going to pull down on all this water. All right, lots of pressure with our Paint With Josh two-inch brush. Bing, bang, boom, bang, bing. All right, and we're going to go to the side. And depending on how hard we pull it, right? Bang, it's going to start to look like a little more fuzzier. <laughs> a little more fuzzy-ish. Fuzzier little thing that's happening down there. Oh, I like it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's see what the two-inch brush looks like when it starts to blend. Ooh, baby. Take some of that color. And we'll drag it down here. Bring it a little closer. The paint with Josh two-inch brush is your friend. Look at how thin you can make that. Literally, you can make it one centimeter thinner than my finger. You can make a line in there with your two-inch brush. I might just keep it this size, guys. Honestly. Whoa, sorry, that was a crazy, like, oh, <laughs> something happened to my insides right there. It was like a crazy, like, burp and hiccup and everything all at the same time. All right, now we've got our little scene going on out here. We're going to make sure our brush is nice and dry. We don't want to have any wetness on the brush when we go up to use it on our canvas, right? So you can split it. That's all I'm doing around the bottom of my table as I'm pushing it so half of it hangs off, drag it through. I told you I was gonna be rough with these brushes, guys. I gotta test them and make sure that you guys be out there going to dry your brush. I don't know, but we're gonna see, test them. 
Look at that. Pops right back. Even with those little thin, flimsier bristles, then that thick, that real thick hog hair comes right back, baby. Just right back. And let's give the old fan brush a good old test. Good old test. Beat it, baby. Beat it. Wipe it off. Dry it off. That ain't too bad, considering how big it is. It's a pretty little brush right there. Okay. Now, we've got our clouds. We've got some background that we've got to fill in, either with some trees. Good uh, chance to use the Paint With Josh bush making brush. The Paint With Josh round from Craft Ammo. These are going to be just immensely fantastic. I'm going to try to keep them clean. But we'll try out our bushy brush to make some far-off treesies and different stuffs happening out there in the distance, right? Let's give it a, the old Paint With Josh try. Let's just give it the old try. Now, I might have to tell them. I mean, I like the thinness of the brushes, but they might have to be a bit sturdier, or we might have to add some. If we add some, if we add some, then I think, you know what I mean? Like, thicken it out a bit, add a bit more, and have that same kind of fatness as... Uh, Bob's brush and then it will push a little bit better. Don't get me wrong. I like the the thinness of it and the softness of it and obviously it's doing an amazing job <laughs> but If I wanted it to be a bit thicker, I might want to add some more bristles maybe just thinking of feedback to send the company now Let's come over here Get this wetness off of here the paint with Josh pa uh, set might just come with a palette knife as well, right? We're gonna scrape up a little bit of our black and blue and crimson, the three favorite colors of Paint With Josh in order to make some far away trees or some sort of something off there in the distance, right? What three colors do we use to make up Paint With Josh plaque, we call it? No, not plaque, purple black. It's a very purpley black color, so. Now, if we add the palette knife to the set, it's going to raise the price. It's going to raise the price up a little bit, but might be like between 80 and 100 bucks now, they're saying. So if we add the palette knife to it, I'm debating whether or not to do it because everybody can just use the palette knives that they have. You can go get them at the store very easily and everyone likes a certain shape. But if I do want a full set, I might be having one look similar to that guy, maybe with a black blade if they could. That would look cool, okay. Bingo, bango, we've mixed up our color. Let's get into the Paint With Josh round brush. It's just like this little makeup brush. It's very, it's firm, you know what I mean? Like, it's getting a lot of like pressure onto the canvas with it. So, I like to test stuff with my face, if you didn't know. <laughs> I rub canvases on my face to make sure they're soft. I do all sorts of stuff. Not when they have paint on them though. Guys, all right, let's get into our color. We're going a little bit of our white. Going to pop it into our guy right here. Bingo, bingo. Going to go into our black, our blackish mix. And that's going to lighten it up just a little touch. Now, what if we start coming out here? Woo! Look at this. You can literally shape every little, every little guy. Popping it up. Maybe we got a few more over here. Just kind of cutting in between our clouds, right? Same thing would happen down here. How far can the Paint With Josh brush go, you say? Boom, boom, boom. Couple little reflects. Bingo, bango, guys. Now we'll take our Paint With Josh 2-inch brush. And my goodness, it feels good to say that. So, let's come over here. Grab our Paint With Josh 2-inch brush. Grab this guy up. Pull him way down. We get those soft little reflections. Swipe them over, right? A little bit of darkness next to our water is all we really need. Take a little bit of light color onto our brush. Very small little line. Don't want it to be very thick so far away. It doesn't have to be so straight. Having a little kink in it makes it look kind of cute. Just kind of cute. Just a little bit. Can't tell me it don't. All right, now let's get out here and see what we're going to throw down into our water. What do we throw into the water? <laughs> Shwilm! That's a cool sound effect. It is great to hear me say the Paint With Josh brush. Doesn't that just make your heart just sing? Doesn't it make your heart sing, guys? Remember to share wherever you're watching. If you're watching over on TikTok, share it. If you're watching over on YouTube, share it. If you're watching over on Facebook, share it. Let's help get the word out. 
Paint with Josh brushes are being tested right now, currently in this live. The new Paint with Josh brush line is being tested out. So, let's see what this little one inch brush can do if we go like this. Oh my, it is so soft. Oh, look at that, just baby. It is so soft, you got so much more control with this brush versus that Bob Ross one inch. Because that one's so thick, you know what I mean? And you can't, it's hard to like judge where you're at based on where the bottom of the bristles are versus the top. Kind of hard to judge that. What if we got a little bit more and just whoop, 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 with a couple little bits. Oh, you know what we still have to test out, guys? The Paint with Josh Filbert brush, of course. Of course, little swipey swipies. Bang, a little bit of action out there. Maybe it's some faraway waves. Maybe it's a bit of our moon reflection. What moon reflection, you say? Well, Paint With Josh has a brand new filbert brush. And this one seems to be the most similar to the Bob Ross set. So it shouldn't be much different. We're going to come in here a little bit on the end. We don't need to have a whole lot. And first things first, let's get a little... You know, we could even do it with the, just that small amount of color that's on this brush. We're just going to wiggle out a little bit of brightness way out here. right? And that's not bright enough, so let's get a little bit more paint. Wiggle it out, blend it out, softly, 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 and all these little X shapes, right? So it's kind of crisscrossing both ways, getting it a little bit of everywhere. And then, let's chuck this moon out there. Let's see. I'm going to put the Paint With Josh brush to the test. Right there, plop it in, push it flat, and rotate it right around into just the most perfect, better than any Bob Ross brush ever did. Whoo! <laughs> Look at that sucker right there, man. Are we right under it? I hate when I do these and then my reflection's not right under it. Right? You know what I mean? We went up and we touched the edge there. Touch the edge. Oh, shit, it's way down here. We might not even see the moon reflection, but just in case. Let's plop one in down here and then sideways our left hand rotations in our water, keeping it nice and flat. Shoo, it's got a black hole in the center of that guy, right? It's only because we ran out of paint on the brush. Just go back and fill it in. Very easy. Very easy to do. Man, this little filbert's freaking sweet, guys. I like it. I like it. Now, how do we clean off filberts? Well, how does Josh do it? Everything goes into the beater bucket. Every brush. Doesn't matter. Look at that. Beautiful, like we didn't even touch it. We didn't even use it. I 100% put my stamp on the Paint With Josh Filbert, okay? 100%, no changes needed on that Filbert. That's a gorgeous Filbert brush, let me tell you. Now, should we just leave it like this, man? Just leave it like that, why not? Why not? Now, I'm gonna clean off our big old round brush this big old sucker. I love the size of the handle on this thing. I mean, size matters, right, ladies? Size of this guy. It just feels better. It just feels like the one. <laughs> they were all deceived. For another round brush was made. Deep in the heart of Paint with Josh Land and the fires of his studio. A round brush was made to rule them all. Man, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Dude, look at how thick it is. Look at this. I guess it's, I mean, it's thicker than the Ross one, right? Got the Bob Ross one, got the Paint with Josh one. It's longer in the bristles, but about the same in the entire length. So longer bristles, shorter hand, or fatter handle. So you just be like, Ugh! <laughs> get up in there, right? Okay, now, let's give this guy one more little beating. One more little beaten. We want to make sure we get all that dark color off if we're going to want to go put some brightness on there. Remember, guys, tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite Paint With Josh brush you've seen so far? What's your favorite brush I've used so far from the Paint With Josh set? Which one are you most excited about? This painting is sold? No, it ain't. Is it? You guys lie. Really? Well, I guess I wouldn't hear it because the... the um, thingy. Who got it? The painting has sold. Good. Okay. Who, who purchased it? 
We got Troy watching from Oregon, my next residential place where I'm moving to. You like the half inch round? I mean, that's, I would say, I mean, it is like a half inch, I guess. We'd call it the half round. I don't have a bigger one, but hello, the painting is sold. Hey, baby, let's go. Do we know who bought it? Hey. All right, let's go back and highlight a couple of these little guys back here. Now, since we don't have many colors, why don't we go a bit of our white and a bit of our crimson from the Meaden set. And if we just touch on, oh baby, if we just touch on a couple of these little guys out here, not trying to make sure every branch is the same, right? We don't need them all to be the same amount. Just so, such a light little touch out here. Leaving all those little dark spaces, little different things that are back inside there. Man, that looks cool. Take our one inch brush, since we don't have a lot of room, right? And this guy's very thin. Why don't we hold him flat ways? We'll just tap in a little bit of that mist. Now I'm gonna turn him vertical ways. Go back to flat so I don't go over my little water line up here. Maybe go vertical or we've got enough space. Just tap in a little bit of mystery. A little bit of craziness out there in the night. Like this guy, I'll toss out a little bank of fog out here. Just not over mix it too much. All right, a little bit like a cloud floating across the land. <laughs> I like that. Very cool. So do we know who bought this painting? Because we're going to have to have a light party for the first paint with Josh painting ever purchased. Anybody? 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 Know who purchased this guy? I'm going to take a little bit more of my dark and just pop in just a couple more like silhouette bits of maybe it's grass. Maybe it, ooh, it does kind of look like grass. This thing, these things are so thin, right? That you could literally use this big half round as your grassy brush. Could be little things that are happening out inside. All the little bits we'll never know because they're so far away. It's the point of them to be very far away. And then we'll have something ginormous up in our foreground, right? Very cool. All right, let's get this guy cleaned up. This thing is so big. I mean, it, I, I, I don't even want to say what I'm going to say. Maybe later on TikTok or in my Discord, I'll tell you guys what it, what it reminds me of. Not suitable for most audiences. Okay, over here and over there. Now I'm having to hold it all the time. This is lovely. And I'm going like this, bouncing it on my table. That makes it even better. Even more fantastic. Let's wipe off the ferrule. I'm going to try to keep the ferrules really clean on these brushes. Right? Wipe it. Pull it down. Man, it's a fantastic paint with Josh brush. Now, the Paint with Josh brush set also comes with a flat brush. You might be used to using these if you're into acrylics. You might be used to using a flat brush. I am going to test it out when I'm doing like my big portal moons. Instead of using a fan brush, we might use the flat. We may end up using the flat to make all sorts of little um, details in the clouds or make grass. We could do lots of stuff with this brush. We could use it to make our tree trunks where we do like a big giant tree coming down. Lots of uses to this old guy. Now, Let's say, what if we put like a little, like a little thing coming out right here from the side? All right, does anyone know who purchased this painting? Anybody? Anybody, anybody? I can't see it on any of the platforms, and I have no idea. So, who knows? We'll figure it out later. <laughs> was, it your, was it you, Lighthouse? Was it you that got this one? Let's see. All right, now, I'm thinking... Right, if we pop out, now our whole plan was to come in from the side, which is why we're gonna lose the moon reflection in the in the light. I showed you, whoop, I just touched it right there. I showed you how to put it in, but we're gonna end up losing it in our grass as it comes in our little thing. It's happening right here, right? So, speaking of which, why don't we take a bit of, what color should we use is the question. Why don't we get a bit of purple? We get some white, a bit of purple. Onto our Paint with Josh one inch brush. White, so it stands out. There we go. You can see it against those black tips pretty well, right? Now, what if we had, what if we had our little guy coming in? We have a whole little, like a little hill, a bit of grass, some sort of something. Now, you're wondering, Josh, this is so much different from all your other paintings. Where did you find the inspiration? Well, Carlos Arriaga sent me a photo earlier tonight, literally right before I was due to do my show. 
and um, I was like, man, that's really cool looking. Would you mind if I did like a Paint with Josh version of that? And he was like, oh my God, I would love that. So, hence, that's what we're here doing today. Little taps. Then we go back in, we fill them all in, turn the brush over, tap, 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 tap. We don't have to have everything be super bright. Might put a big old bush down here at the bottom. In which case, we don't want to have so much paint down there, right? Very cool. It needs to be a little heavier. Hang on, a little heavier. No, that was good. It's all about the flip, right? No, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we got our grass. We'll throw in our big old trees, and here's a good chance to use our Paint with Josh fan brush in order to make these trees. Now, I always say I like big fan brushes to make trees, right? And... I don't know if this one, it could be too big. It looks pretty big to me. We're gonna find out right now. And if I don't like it, then I'll change it before we launch them, right? Ooh, look at that. Once you get enough paint in there, that's part of the secret. You gotta have enough paint to hold all these bristles together. Okay, and what if we did just a little old tree, I don't know, just right here, just right there. Okay, gonna go back. That didn't split too badly. I figured it was gonna split more than that. Go back, we're gonna come at it from the corner. We're gonna to start to tap in our little baby pushes upwards. Oh God, that is a gorgeous branch. Look at the definition. Look at the definition on the branches. Oh my. Let's come at it from the other side. So it's smacking up, smacking out. All of our little bits. To, oh my goodness. You guys, look at those little branchy bits that come off that sucker, man. Whoo, Nelly. All right, let's bring them down into our, our land, right Have down into our grassy bit, okay? Now, we can take that same one-inch brush, come in and tap at his base, right? Just all around his base, a little bit higher on this side, a little bit lower, and then a little bit higher. So it goes whoosh, making him look just a little bit more 3D than anything else, okay? Our moon's back here. Why don't we take a bit of his dark color? That's too much. Too much paint on the brush. And a bit of his dark color and spread it out back here, kind of covering up those little bits of purple. See why we don't need so much of a, a bit of darkness? Even back here, we got our shadows all mixed up. Even back here, that's where it would be, Joshy. Right there. Look at that. Oh, fire. Wash, uh, not even wash it, just dab it off. A little bit more of my purpley paint come up in here and finish our little grassy bit. We can even put a whole nother tree, a bush, something else right there, right? Whoo, man, that's cool. All right, now, let's see. Since we've got the color on the brush, I mean, I did say I wanted to test out the flat. Oh, man, that's pretty. Let's get over here, see if there's enough paint still lodged up inside this bad boy. And again, if yours splits, just make sure you got enough paint in it. It's gonna really teach you how much you gotta have. I almost don't even wanna do another tree on either side because these little branches look so pretty. Come out here like this. Right down with the trunk onto the branches. Come off the side, little baby taps up, pushing in, spreading out the trunk and the bristles. All right, the more we go down, the more we push inwards, popping the brush upwards. Letting these guys interblend, and now we got two little tree buddies out there in the night. Pop a little bit of his darkness down in here. Very cool, guys. That's cool. All right, let's wash this brush off. The paint with Josh brush. I mean, the fan brush, it is thin, okay? It's thin, but proof's in the pudding. Literally, proof is in the pudding. So... I'm not gonna say that the, the fan brush has my full support yet, but that looks pretty stinking rad, if you ask me. Now, I'm gonna dry it off, I'm gonna mush it, I'm gonna be just as rough with the fan brush as I was with the whole rest of them, just in case you guys are really rough with it. We're gonna see what it looks like. That's freaking rad, dude. Fill that full of paint and you're good to go again. All right, let's switch to the baby fan brush now. This guy, a little bit more flickability, but it's also very, 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 very thin. So we're gonna practice using very small amounts of paint for him, okay? Why don't we get a bit, maybe we can get a bit of purpley trunk to shine through on these guys. Boop, boop, boop. A little here, a little there. Touch, a little there. 
Don't have to see them all throughout the whole thing, right? Don't all have to be the same. Now we'll get a bit of our liquid white. Here comes the test. What a color. I mean, when these guys are pinkish back there, we could do pink and purple. That'd be cool. All right, let's come over here with our liquid white. We'll go into the purpley bit with the liquid white onto the Paint with Josh fan brush. This is like a liner brush size handle, right? So we can make very small little details. I'm gonna wiggle it down, making sure all of that white is gone because I don't want any of the white to shine through. Now, very lightly, I'm gonna tap off and whatever's gonna stick is gonna stick. All right, come out here. Oh my Lord, look at those freaking branches. Guys, just the shape of those branches. Oh, oh. Turn the brush over, let's get some extra. That's just the shadow. That's just a shadow of the guy. My Lord, look at that. All right, split it apart a little bit, but remember, you gotta have enough paint in the brush to make it work. So, let's get a little bit more of our liquid white. All right, you can even see there a little split. Doesn't bother me, okay? If it bothers you, go put some more paint into it. A little bit of white over here into our purpley bit. Wiggling it down, wiggling it down, wiggling it down. Got everyone except that one guy out on the edge. Boom, 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 boom. All right? All back together. Come off of our little guy. Little touch. Out here, start popping in the little baby bits, right? We're using a smaller brush. And therefore, all of our little um, details will be smaller as well. Right? Not everything needs to be as bright as everything else. Look at that little chunky little guy. Oh, I love him. Let's wash off this little brush. Now this one, I gotta do it just the same as I always do. Just a little wiggle right to the thing, right? He split his bristles, which is okay. We're gonna go back and dry him off and we'll see what he looks like once he's all dried off. <sighs> Don't do this at your painting, by the way. Don't shoot stuff at it. <laughs> there we go. Back to normal. Whoo! Gorgeous. Okay, a little bit of our liquid white again, because we gotta have that liquidy white stuff. Now we're gonna go into our crimsony, that Meaden crimson paint, which is the color of our pink cloud up here in the sky. Wiggle it down. We don't wanna have all that white. Wiggle it into the crimson, get rid of it. Boom, boom, boom. Now it's gonna come off the brush very lightly. It's just the smallest little tip taps, okay? so. How do we want it to look as we start tapping it down? The more we go, the more we push, the higher we are, the less we're touching it. All right, little things. But that pink bit's not gonna go all the way down the shadow of our one guy because he's tucked up next to his little tree bud, right? So let's get a little bit more onto the brush. And this is the first time I've ever used these. So as I go, I'll be able to judge more on, you know, how much paint to put on where to hold it to make it make the shape right, because it's all about the angle of the brush. See how we're like up here, almost away from it, hitting it with like the side corner of the brush out here? And that way, you get these little shapes to pop off and look like little branches, to me anyway. I think they look like little branches. I don't know what you guys think they look like. Oh, look at that! Oh, man, that's cool! That is friggin' neat off a couple more little super pink bright bits into there cover up our trunk a little bit off the side hey, dude that's a cool looking little tree if you ask me if you done did ask me i would tell you that's a neat little tree right there that's a neat little tree friend you got right there pal yes okay now again very thin very thin on the brit on the brush but proof's in the pudding Proof is in the pudding. That's all I gotta say. It is a, it's a little adjustment to using this very thin brush versus like our, I don't know, our one of our Gap Doctor fan brushes. It's got a lot more bristles inside of it. See what I mean? So, all depends. And then you adjust and you do your thing. And that's how you paint, literally. All right, we've got this guy. Okay, let's use, since uh, about the only brush we haven't used. Where's that other piece? Oh, I guess we've used, oh. All right, well, literally the only other brush in the set that we haven't used are the flat brush, the Paint With Josh flat, right? And 
the paint with Josh liner brush. Now, I already said to the company, this is not the shape of the bristles that I want. And they're not near long enough. But it's very thick. A rigor, I didn't know the difference between a rigor brush and a script liner. Art, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I'm a dummy. I didn't go to art school or nothing. So I was like, yeah, I just figured that's what they called it over there in the UK. But as soon as they sent me a photo, I was like, ah, that's not going to work. So we're going to try it out still. But let's try out the Paint With Josh flat brush number eight. All right, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to mix a little of our blue and our crimson and our black. We can even just do it right here on the brush to make our Paint With Josh plaque. Now, I don't want to overload the bristles up. Firstly, because they're brand new and I don't need the whole thing all darkened up, right? But what if, let's see the kind of shape, very flat, very full of paint, wipe it off so you get that real sharp edge. And what if we did a little guy like this, just right through the more, oh man, bang, the more we go down, the more you can push onto that little sucker, right? Load it back up again. That's very fine tipped out here. Very fine. Woo hoo hoo! I like that. And that's just with the straight plaque. No, no uh, mead and uh, black added. Just a straight up plaque. What if we come off of this dude over here? Oh, it just leaves the sharpest line ever. Just literally leaves the sharpest line ever. Oh, that's fantastic. I just want to whip run right across that sucker too. Maybe we'll throw a little guy off of here. Even when you very first touch it, it leaves this super sharp line. Right there, rotate. Cool. We got our fat little branchy tree. Now we're going to try to use that paint with Josh liner brush and see what that guy's all about. We're going to see what he's all about. There we go. Let's see how clean this flat is going to get. Now, the best part about the flat brush is I already knew this was going to be perfect because they sent me, when they sent me the testers, you know what I mean? I use the flat versions of those testers. So, I knew at least the flat was gonna be good. And now, the flat has my 100% full support as a brush. That makes them sharp, way sharper than our fan brush and probably sharper than our liner brush. Probably, not even kidding. All right, let's see. Got that, that, and that. Now, here's our last little guy. I told him. This might not be thin enough in order to make my branches the way I want it to. Because like instantly it starts splitting into two. I'm hoping that's because it's dry. And if not, I'd already told them, you might as well get a new script liner going in the factory and get it sent out to me because this probably isn't going to work. But let's find out. Maybe some people might like the rigger better than the liner. I, I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to see what it does as far as our tree branches, right? And dip it into my odorless mineral spirits and then back into my paint with josh plaque right over here like we always do i'm not going to get the full brush all loaded up i guess it's kind of sharp but it doesn't look like it's going to hold its shape very well once we start pushing on it right so let's get out here Woo holy cow i think i might have been fibbing you guys this, holy slappers this is a brush I want it longer though. I want it longer. Longer than paint with Brams. Come out here and see if we can get longer and sharper. Man, look at those little branches come off of that thing, you guys. That's pretty cool. I mean, it feels a lot more stiff versus Brams liner, which I love. Oh, I love Brams liner, right? But this one's got a bit more like stiffness to it. When Brams, you can kind of touch and then start to flow. This one, you kind of got to be on it right away. So we're going to touch in here, and then we're getting lighter and lighter and lighter touch as we go out, hopefully creating more sharper and thinner branches as we go out as well. It's very cool. And if you give it a little spin, like a little hand, a little finger spin as you're doing it, it seems to help. I don't want it overloaded, remember. If it's overloaded with paint, ooh, that's going to be nice. Then it's not, it's going to leave too much. Dude, I like this. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> proof's in the pudding. I don't know. But they seem pretty legit. And this little rigger brush, which I thought was going to be absolute trash, 
might just be one of my favorite ones. Just might be one of the favorites of this brush line. Because you can just make, and like, you can make a real thin branch, right? Because it's got a lot of pushback from the canvas. When you push it in, you can feel it wanting to come back. And then all you got to do is pull your hand away, and it whips out this sharpest little bit out the end. Ah, oh, it's cool. I like it. I like it. It doesn't have my 100%. I want to try the script liner. But that little rigger brush is rigging. That's my, my, uh, my brother's dog's name, actually, because he's... My brother used to work on an oil rigger. He's way cooler than me, my brother. He's like, he's eight years younger, so I'm like the cool oldest, you know, son. But he's lived such a cool life. He's mined, you know, he drives like the, you know, like the Tonka trucks that you see, the toys, because the big ones are like the tire is as big as a person. He drives those things. He's wicked cool. I'm just paint with Josh, man. He's the, he's the cool guy. All right, let's put a little bit. Let's grab our palette knife and grab a little bit of that pinkish color is what we want. A little bit of our, our Meaden Crimson or our Bob Ross Crimson. It doesn't matter. I just want to make it a little pinky. Pull it down through that white. Ooh, that's nice. Whew, grab up a little of this guy right here. Just a little touch onto our knife. And then we can go literally touch and pull away. Just tapping, 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 tapping. All right, we're not trying to cover the entire branch in brightness. We need it to stay dark. We had a little bit right there, a little on the top of that guy, All right? One little touch here, there, they're everywhere. As they go, start to lose them. <laughs> Can't even see them. That's the kind of paint we use. It's literally so dark that you can't even see your own branches. Right here, like this. Little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap, little tap, all the way up, right? Boom, 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 boom. They don't have to be connected. They don't have to be as bright as all heck, right? Nothing has to be a certain way at all. We get to choose what we want them to look like. And remember, if you leave just the smallest little dark line, this one's a bit too big, but if we leave the smallest dark line around the edge of that tree, right? Right there on our highlight side, just a little dark line makes that thing look so much more round it's just a magic trick, guys. What the heck happened to this branch right here? Now I gotta come back with my rigger, get some rigging done. Over there. Maybe we just couldn't see where it was going, might have been the problem. And now our color has done run out. So, get this guy in here. Off that side. There we go. I can see him. I can see him just a little bit. There, down. It's gonna be a big old branch. It's gonna cover up a lot of space. There we go. All right, now we can go off the top of that guy. Maybe, maybe we could do it with this rigger brush. Just a little bit of. Oh, you guys, that's even easier. Just with a little rigger, we can drop a little touch of light on the end of these branches. Let's see if we can do that through the rest of them. Let's see. Some of the times people don't like using the palette knife for whatever reason, don't like using it, they can't make the highlights with it, they want to use a brush to draw on the branches, okay, abschluten, right, but some of the times you cover up too much, look at this rigger brush, whoo, man, this is some fire right here, almost like it cuts a trail in the darkness and lays down the light, crisscross those guys, All right, what is your favorite brush that I've used so far or the one you are most excited to use yourself as of right now, considering that we've got this rigor that we're doing just magical things with, just literal magical things, dropping on these little bits of highlights and stuff. What is the brush you're most excited about using now after all considered things have been considered or whatever? <laughs> What's your favorite one? You're about you just you just itching to try that branchy rigger brush. I know you are. I just know you are. Let's see. Let me see some comments. What do we got? What do we got? Which one are we trying to say? All of the above. That's funny. <laughs> the liner brush. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. 
They might have two liner brushes. Oof, I don't know about that. The fan and the liner, the rigger brush. Hey, Caitlin, what's going on? The rigger brush, you can do all the fine detail with it, says Billy. Now the rigger brush, says Dana. <laughs> Every time I use something new, though, I'll change it. I, I want to try this one now. A little bit of our pure plaque just to make that dark shadowy side just extra dark just in case our plaque and our mix went across an area that was too bright with white and it drugged down too much color and you didn't have those real uber black places right there gotta have that super dark area to make our trees look more round okay now take this guy we could literally hide him in the grass like he was growing up out of it right like that or you could put a a bush at the bottom of him you could do all sorts of stuff. Why don't we grab that liner, that little rigger brush that we got? Grab a little of our liquid white, just onto the black tip of the rigger. I don't want you guys to get more paint than that on it at any moment, okay? That's why I only made it so thin and, and we put those black tips on there. So you wouldn't. What if we took this guy and went just a few little bits, a couple little things growing out. They're everywhere. Oh my God, look at this, the shape. Like, and I'm, I'm not even pushing any harder or doing anything different, right? It's just launching out and continuing to launch out. How far can we go? All these crazy little gracious bits out here. And it's still dragging off paint. And you, you saw how much, how little amount that I put on there. You saw the amount, right? If we had a few guys that'll pop up into our tree from back here. In the shadow zone. Phantom zone. Oh, there's still some white on the brush. Let's go get a little bit more of that. All right, make it nice and sharpie. Oh, look at the little things. I bet you these guys would do cactus, uh, like little cactus barbs, little spines so perfectly. Look at those little things, guys. They just grow everywhere. They keep getting taller. They're getting everywhere. Just because I don't want to stop. But if you don't like any of them, you literally come back in and you tap out the ones you don't want to see. Right? They literally go away. Tap them out, tap them out. Except for the ones that go up into our water. Nothing you can do about those. <laughs> Nothing you can do about those guys. But these guys, we can tap out. We can do whatever we want to do to have our little grassy thing look a certain way to us. Right? What if we dab in just a little bit more of our color back in here? Got a little closer to us, right? Working in those little angles out here, over there. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna take some of this darkness and work it back out. Just like that. Oh, guys, that's wicked neat. Now, one more little guy right here, up front, like he's just growing up from the base. You gotta have that liquid white and our titanium white on there. And then we can chuck out all sorts of little things that are happening back wherever, right? Back behind the tree, wherever we want them to be. Growing out, growing here, growing there, all sorts of places. All right, now, seriously, who bought this painting? Who bought this painting? Because we need to uh, come up with a name for it. You guys are gonna have to start coming up with a name for this one. Let's see how the rigor does with the birds. The family of birds. Let's just see, right? We're gonna throw the old fam family anyway, way out here in the darkness. Oh my, it's even easier to do the birds with, you guys. Kaka! <laughs> just flying through. Whoa, that last one's not bright enough though. Bailey gets so mad at me when she is not pronounced. She's like, Dad, there's only two birds. I'm like, no, you're right there. And she's like, I'm not bright enough. I feel you, I feel you. Just whipping it through. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, you guys. First ever painting with my own brush line, and this falls out? That's fantastic. Little, again, little amount, put it into our white or whatever other color we're going to sign with. And thank you for the gifts, guys. I love you. Let's drop it down here. Ooh, I mean, it is, I'm used to how Brams feels when I go to sign, but it does write more like a pencil or a pen than Brams does. So, you know, his is very soft, which I love. Don't get me wrong. Love it. 
but it's kind of hard to write your name with, honestly. I'm, I've sort of mastered it because I paint so often. And also, his bristles are like still a quarter inch longer than mine. That is not going to happen. <laughs> Our bristles will be at least the same height as the longest ones. Right? He's got a little bit of bristle length on me, but the brush length... See, his brush length is a little bit higher, so let's see. Yeah, he's still got about a quarter inch compared to where the bristles come out and the ferrules start. So, and you can see what Bram's looks like when I dry it all out, it turns into this thing. And then when you get it nice and wet, it goes back into that real sharp point. This one won't do that. I want it to, just to make sure it's dry, but it won't do that, so. We'll see. I, I do like this, but I want to have more of a script liner that is much more of like a writing calligraphy style tool than the, than the rigor brush. But don't get me wrong, this rigor brush is amazing. Uh, amazing. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Okay, I got to clean off this one last paint majage brush. One last brush that we got in there. And if you can tell me what it is. I'll smile. <laughs> What's the last brush that I'm going to clean up today? You've seen me use the brushes and clean them as we go. So what's the last one going to look like? What's the last old Paint the Josh brush going to look like? I wonder. The one inch brush. Did you guess the one inch brush? Was that your guess? You're just so smart then. You're just so smart. So. Hey, with Josh brushes, bro. Get yourself one when they come out. <laughs> when they come out. They're not available for you guys to get yet. And you can see just how freaking rough I'm going to treat them, right? As rough as I treat the bob brushes, just so we can have a fair assessment of how they're going to react under normal circumstances or even extreme circumstances, right? So, set that guy down. Give these old ferrules a bit of a wipe down because they're so stinking pretty. And then whoever bought the painting is going to tell me what the name is. And so, that fan brush, man, he tries to get dirty fast. Woo! Look at that thing just come clean as a whistle. Look at that guy. Got to get our flat brush all wiped off and all golden again with this white glossy handle, you guys. Can you see the gloss on it? Oh, it's fire. Just fan freaking tastic Plus this immensely gigantic, it's like a hot dog. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a Long Island Coney <laughs> eating this massive thing. He's humongous, but I love it. Now, so we already got the filbert. Let's get the little baby fan brush nice and cleaned off. You guys know me, I like a small fan brush and I like a large fan brush. One for doing shadows, one for doing highlights. And that ain't too shabby if you ask me. One more of our little liner brushes, our little rigger brush that we gotta wipe off. Just like so, and you guys, I mean, I'm not disappointed with these brushes. I'm very, very happy with the ah, Paint with Josh brush line. Let's get these where we can see them. Ha ha! Whoop! About drop the rigger. Going rigging. Look at these. Fabulous. That's a whole set of everything you need in order to paint something just like this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I just did it for you. Live, right in front of your eyeballs. You saw me do it. All right, what are we gonna do for a name for this guy? What are we gonna do for a name? Then I gotta get my baby pumpkin something to eat. My little squash. <laughs> That's what a baby pumpkin would be, right? A squash, sort of. I'm not a farmer, okay? <laughs> I'm not a farmer, I'm a painterist. There we go. What do we got for a name? What do we got for a name? Cosmic Reflected Catherine? Buy this one? You're out of your mind. Or is that just the name that we're choosing? Who got it, firstly? Cosmic pin the title, she says. All right, Cosmic Reflections. I'm assuming, all right, Cosmic, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. You guys are trying to trick me up. All right, so we're calling it Cosmic Reflections. 
And it's going to be reflection tastic. There we go. Like that guy. Over here. Over there. Now it's number 1231. But also the first painting with Paint With Josh brushes. Just so when she sells it down the line, 30 years down the line, everybody be like, I guess that's legit. The first painting with Paint With, paint with Josh brushes. And we're calling it Cosmic Reflections. Cosmic Retractions. Ugh. I almost messed myself up. Not that guy. And that guy painted on three, 25 of 24. And we're all going to go check out paintwithjosh.com because it's not only the most fantasticest website of all time, but it is, I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's see. Bing, bam, boom, skis. Oh, guys, this one came out so pretty. Just so pretty. Back onto my screws there. There we go. Whoo! Can't imagine anything more pretty than that. So, I'm gonna say goodbye to the YouTube crew and the Facebook crew. And then I gotta go get some food. And we'll hang out with the TikTok crew for like three minutes. So don't act like you guys are getting more, more or like less time with me because you're on a different platform. It's not, I just have to say goodbye. It takes a lot longer to turn off that show than it does to turn off this show. So I love you guys all, right? You've all been witness to the very first Paint With Josh brush video. <laughs> Literally life achievement for me. So um, I love you all. Everybody over on Facebook, take care. You guys are my besties. You used to be my biggest audience and now you're my smallest audience. So if you could share this and tell your friends, hey, follow this guy. He's not only cute and handsome, but fantastically charismatic and funny. Totally to bed on that one. But in any case, I love you guys over on Facebook. Take care and on YouTube. Have the rest of a good day. And wow, it's over. My goodness. Holy moly.